Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I decided to do something slightly different. It is just a plain eyeshadow tutorial on this colorful summer kind of vibe. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. You will not be seeing any of my foundation or highlighting or contouring. Contouring or any of that. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and comment down below what you would like to see in the future. And tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a cousin to tell a friend to tell an enemy to like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys in my next video. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is color correcting my eyes with the Allego Orange. Is it upside down? Allego Orange Color Corrector. I'm going to be applying a small of the small of this. A small amount on my lids before I put my eyeshadow base just to make sure they're the same skin tone. my eyeshadow base for this I would recommend you go two shades lighter than your skin tone just so that you make sure you have a cleaner base for your eyeshadow whatever translucent powder you like I would recommend the Yardley translucent powder in I think it's bare the shade is bare but using just a fluffy brush I'm going to be going into the translucent powder and dabbing it onto my eyes but I'm not going to leave it there I'm just going to dust it off straight after using for today's look is the palette I used in my previous video. I really love this palette. I practically use it every single day and it is the Beauty Treats Hot Love Palette. You can find this at Discam, obviously and it's very affordable and super pigmented and it has practically every shade that you need for every look. So the first color I'm going to be going into is this mustardy yellow kind of color thing over here and I'm going to be using that as my crease and transition shade so make sure you blend it out. back into this palette and I'm going to be using this orange shade over here. It is kind of like an orange meets red kind of color and I'm going to be putting that where I've put the yellow but just dragging it a little bit lower so it can have a gradient effect and using this brush that I got from, where did I get it? This brush came with a palette that I bought so I mean just using a fluffy brush you can just achieve the same thing. straight into the color that we're going to be using next and just apply it below the orange or you can cut your crease so that the color that we're going to apply is more pigmented. I'm going to be cutting the crease just because I want it to be bright. You don't have to if you want it to be more subtle and flowy then you can just go straight into the next color. 
let's cut the crease using the same Allego Pro Concealer in Creamy Beige and this concealer brush that I got from this game. <laughs> I'm going to be cutting the crease. Once you have cut your crease, you don't have to set it with translucent powder because we want it to be quite bright. So just make sure you have evened it out and it's all leveled. And then we're going to be going in with our lid color which is going to be this hot pink over here. It is quite bright so depending on how extra you want to be is how much you would put on. So taking a flat brush from color brushes, I'm going to be patting that onto my lid, not stroking, so, so just pat it onto your lid. As you can see, I haven't applied the color to all of my lid. I've just stopped over halfway because I want to use another color at the corner of my eye. And I'm making sure that I don't take it above the crease because then it's going to mix with the orange and it'll be too difficult to differentiate between the two. So once you are done with that, I'm going to be going back into the orange that I used in my crease and I'm going to blend that out so that the harsh line of the crease is not so evident and just blend it for a really, really long time. <laughs> to apply your lashes so I'm going to be doing that off camera because it's just a struggle so I will be back and then we can finish the rest of the look okay so I put on my lashes done my foundation and everything I'm going to be going back into this palette and taking this teal color over here and putting that on my lower lash focus lower lash line and I'm going to be using a flat brush I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you would like to see more just plain eyeshadow tutorials then please let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you guys in my next video bye